Welcome back. I'm going to try to make something for the first time today. Everybody loves lemon bars in my family. It's Valentine's Day. My husband has been asking for lemon bars since I have two lemons left over from my crop of new lemons. I decided to make lemon bars from scratch, which I have never done before. I've only ever used a mix. So um, I'm actually combining a couple of different recipes that I found online. So I'm gonna be using the stand mixer and I'm going to, here in the bowl, I already have put two sticks of butter cut up into small pieces. And I actually cut them up as soon as I took them out of the fridge so that they could come up to room temperature a lot faster. I'm going to use the paddle attachment today, at least first. And here in the bowl, I've got the uh, two sticks of butter and a half a cup of sugar. I'm just gonna pour that right in, pre-measured. Lock it down, and we're going to cream this until it's light. That's what the recipe says, till it's light. So I assume it means fluffy. So we're gonna see what, how long that takes. So I'm not sure what light really means. This is, um, I don't know, butter and sugar. It's delicious. Um, can't really go wrong with butter and sugar, but um, I don't know if it's light. So I'm gonna give it another few and see if it does anything different. It's the same, still delicious. But um, so I'm gonna stop there because I can't see it doing anything else besides what it's doing now. Now the recipe calls for unsalted butter. I don't really buy unsalted butter around here. So it also calls for an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. So I'm gonna assume that the salt in here is most of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add another, you know, pinch of salt and uh, stir that around with the flour to give it a little quick distribution. And I'm going to add the flour in here. Uh, I'm gonna use the mixer on low and I'm just gonna add the flour until it's just mixed. Give it a sec there. I don't want it to puff out, so low is great for that, but I also want to give the mixer a chance to kind of do its thing instead of putting it all in at the same time. So, the end of that. Now that it's not gonna fly out, I can take that off. And I think I'm going to get down here with my scraper for a minute so that I can make sure the stuff on the sides is all mixed in. Looks like it was getting pretty uh, worked up to the sides so I'm just giving it a little stir and then I'm gonna, yeah it's got a lot of butter that can still be incorporated there. So it's getting a very crumbly texture. Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh, it's just starting to come together now, like big and clumpy. So I think I'll probably stop there because it says until it's just mixed. So you can see it's kind of stuck on the paddle now, which is pretty good. So I'm just gonna scrape this all off. And you can 
hear my cat in the background. She uh, consistently feels like she's never been fed. I don't know if your cat is like that, but uh, I've got a child slinking in and out trying to give the cat four pieces of food so it will feel like it accomplished something. Now, we're supposed to turn this out onto a well-floured board. Oops, sorry, I that knife make a noise. So I'm going to push this back a little. Pull my board out. That's a good shot. Okay, and get some flour here. Just give it a little. And it's got a lot of butter in it, so I'm assuming that's why and end up all greasy. Maybe I'll just pop my rings off instead of having to pick the butter out later. Okay, so. I'm gonna turn this out onto the board. Whoa, that is so buttery. Butter, sugar, salt, and flour, I mean. Yum. Classic little shortbread. Okay. And then we're supposed to have well floured hands. So I'll grab some of this. So we're just supposed to kind of work it into a ball, make sure it all sticks, and it does. This this wants to stick. This is like luscious sugar cookie dough. Get a nice ball of that. Okay. Now we are supposed to put it into a pan, and I've heard tell that you should use a glass pan, not a metal pan, because the lemon juice acidity can react and end up with the uh, pan, yeah, I don't know, making a little bit of a metallic taste. So, pulling out this glass pan. Now, it's supposed to be a nine by 13, well, I only have a nine and a half by a 13 and a half, so guess what we're using. So I'm gonna slide this over, cut my pan here. It doesn't need butter because it's full of it. So I'm just gonna kind of get all the little bits that I can. I don't wanna lose any. And we're supposed to flatten this out a little and then press it into the pan. And then what I want is a little edge. So along the perimeter here, I'm just using my finger and I'm pushing a little edge around. So that, because the stuff that we pour on here is gonna be soupy. So when we go to add the filling, we don't want the filling to get around the edge of the crust and like get down underneath it. Now, don't get me wrong, the lemony part is my favorite part of these. I like the crust just fine, but I wouldn't be upset if there was more lemon to crust ratio in my lemon bar. I just want there to be enough that I can take it out of the pan and it doesn't just fall apart on me when the time comes. Now, one thing I had actually thought about doing was putting parchment under this to get them out of the pan, and I forgot, so maybe next time. But that's one tip. If you line this with parchment that just flops over the edges, then you could kind of lift it right out of the pan when you're done. That's uh, one thing they say. And I might have done that in another world, but I didn't. Okay, that's good enough. Now, you're supposed to chill it. I don't know about you, but my fridge does not generally have enough room for a 9x13 pan to just hang out in. And uh, so I'm gonna actually just stick it in the garage because it is uh, about 32 degrees right now and it's only gonna be out there for 15 minutes. So that's the perfect amount of chilling. And I'm gonna go with my gut and say the reason we're chilling it is because we've just worked the butter up to, uh, you know, room temperature and on some places hand temperature with all the moving around that we've been doing with it. And that means that when we put it in the oven, it'll melt that much faster. And so we don't really want that to happen. We wanna chill it so when it goes into the oven, we have cold butter and that will make a uh, better quality to the crust. So I'm gonna go put this in the fridge garage for 15 minutes. Then I'm going to put it into a preheated oven for 15 to 20 minutes until it's very lightly browned. And then we'll come back and see what we've got. 
Okay, so these were in the oven for about 16 minutes. And you can see there's a little tiny bit of light browning happening in a couple of spots. So I decided to take it out and they want you to cool it on a wire rack. So I'm setting it on a wire rack to cool. I'm just pushing it out of the way so I don't hit it with my elbow by accident. And I've left the oven on because we're about to use it again. Now we need to make the filling. In my mixer bowl, I have already cracked six eggs and the reason I cracked them earlier is because I wanted them to come up to room temperature. So they've been sitting in here since right after we finished the, um, the crust. And uh, you know, I don't, they're still probably a little cool, but they'll do. And to that, I'm going to be adding a cup of lemon juice. Now this lemon juice is what I juiced out of the last two of my fresh homegrown Meyer lemons. Got a little bit of the juice left over from the recipe for last week to make it a full cup. And um, the one thing I love about, there's actually, you should always use fresh juice for a recipe like this because the concentrate that you get from the grocery store is just not quite the same. So fresh squeezed lemons. And I love all the little pulpy bits that get in there. I, I think that adds a little extra something something. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick that in with the eggs. And I have my whisk attachment. And I'm not gonna go super crazy on this, just a little whisk. I'm gonna break up the yolks there in just a sec and then I'll let it calm down again. Okay, so now I've got that going. This is the uh, about a tablespoon of zest. Get right that in there. It's another thing I love about using my homegrown lemons for a recipe like this because the zest is guaranteed not to have any pesticides on it, which I really like. So it's about a tablespoon of zest in there. And uh, then, ooh, I'm gonna a little scraper. Turn that off. Make sure I'm not just zesting the side of my bowl. And I put that in there to kind of get the zest all mixed up with the liquid before I put the um, sugar and flour in. I have two cups of sugar measured out here already. Yeah, two cups, I know. Nobody said these were healthy. And I'm going to add to that a half a cup of flour. And I'm adding that ahead of time because I want them to be uh, well combined before I start doing this. Just... I could sift these together if I wanted to. In fact, I'm wondering if uh, these might make lumps. No, probably not because I'm whisking it in and uh, there's nothing heating anything in there. So I think that that's gonna go just fine. So I'm not gonna worry about sifting that in. I am gonna put this on just so that I have a sheet for dumping. And just put that back on. And I'm just gonna add this. Put a little quick whisk together. say that I can see some very small like little blips of flour that made little so I'm just gonna press those out I just see a couple so possibly in the future um, sifting it into the bowl might be worthwhile um, I don't love sifting it takes a while 
but that's okay. Uh, there's not enough in here that it's gonna ruin this recipe. There's only a few, and I press them out against the side of the bowl. So let me get rid of this so I'm not dripping. And we've got this luscious yellow yummy filling. And we're literally just going to pour this over the crust and bake for 30 to 35 minutes until it's set. So set meaning that uh, the middle is not jiggly anymore, okay? So I'm gonna move these, let's slide this back over so we can see the pour. I'm hoping this, the crust edge on here is enough. And uh, here we go. Pour that on. Oh my gosh, it looks and smells delicious. been 30 minutes and this is what we're looking at I am not really sure how to tell if these are done because I assume when I stick a toothpick in there's gonna come out with schmutz on it although that's pretty clean what I can say is it is not jiggly it feels solid on top like when I move it it doesn't wiggle like um, you know unset pudding or anything like that. So I'm gonna assume that it's done. Turn off the oven and we're gonna let these cool all the way on um, to room temperature. And I actually like mine chilled. So we're not gonna eat these until later today, um, but I'm gonna let them cool all the way and then I probably am going to let them cool in the um, garage. Look at that, the bottom is beautifully golden and nothing moves around when I try to oh I love this so much okay I cannot wait to eat these the edge is a little brown I just have to be patient and let them cool you guys look what my husband made for me for Valentine's Day he just gave it to me and I'm waiting for my lemon bars to cool but I just couldn't wait to show you this adorable Wanda and Vision shadow box that he made it has the uh, infinity stones behind it in the hex pattern with a big heart. I love it so much. Yeep. Well, I've let them cool. They uh, are at about room temperature right now. Uh, like I said, I love them chilled, but they're for later. But I wanted to show you how we're going to finish these. And I've seen a couple of different ways to do it, but I'm going to finish them with some powdered sugar. So I just am putting this into a fine metal sieve and kind of dusting this over the top. I don't know if they should be cut first or not cut first. This is all experiment. So there's enough of that for now. So I'm going to just loosen up the edges of the pan and then I like a nice hefty sized lemon bar. Oh, I love the, uh, I can feel it bust through the shortbread crust down there. That sound feels really good. Get it all the way. Good. Separate here. This edge is a little bit darker over here, so I think I'll go for this side. They're cutting nicely, I think. Feels like it's supposed to feel. It's very exciting. How easy it'll be to pop this out. Oh, look, it came right out. So, let's see what we have. Beautiful crust layer, a nice thick lemon layer. I'm excited about that. I uh, do like a lot of lemon. I'll give it a whirl. Mmm. So, they have a nice chewy texture. They're not crisp on the bottom, which I really like good lemon flavor. These are great. So first time tried, first time success. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Do you want to try this recipe yourself? You can find it in the description below.
Do you have a recipe you'd like me to try for the first time? Post it in the comments.